Hey guys, welcome back to the John Deere Garage. Ricky here. Um, so I got the motor deck off of my John Deere 318. And just for ha-has, I pulled the covers off that go right on this drive belt here. And I was doing a little bit of inspecting. Didn't notice too much. Everything seems to be ship shape under here, but I did notice my belt is starting to wear in some spots. And I do have some unfortunate news. This spindle bearing is gone. It's not supposed to sound like that. It's got a lot of play in it. And when when the blades are on, it vibrates a lot. You can hear it. I turned the blades on in my last video. I'm not sure if you were able to tell. But it was wicked loud. So I'm going to go ahead and get the... Holy crap, guys, shut up. Neighbor over there, he's freaking using a chop saw since about 8 this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and get the part this week for that thing to fix it. And then I have to work on my gauge wheels on the front of the deck because the oh, last owner of this machine, he put bolts in the gauge wheels that were way too long. And there's about that much excess sticking off the side there. And it's making the gauge wheels flop around like that. So they carve into the grass and rip up the sod and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put a shorter bolt in there to see if I can't fix that problem. I tried cutting the bolts, but one of them just uh, kind of didn't work out too well. The threads got all mushroomed from the grinder. I didn't have my angle grinder. Well, I had my angle grinder, but I didn't have any more discs for it. And the discs I had were like the thick ones. They were like that instead of the thin ones. So, yeah. Anyway, the everything else seems to be good. I'm going to sharpen the blades, too. And I was under the 318 today. I had the belly screen back off of it. And I tightened up another fitting on that valve block because it's still leaking hydraulic fluid. So hopefully that does the trick. If it doesn't, I don't know where that leak could be coming from. There is something underneath the battery tray. It looks like a little box and that's all wet with hydraulic fluid. I don't know where it came from because I can't really see and I wasn't in the mood to tear the tractor apart today. So I'm kind of tired. And uh, yeah, I might work on it tomorrow a little bit. Well, actually, I can't. I got work tomorrow. So, I'll come out and work on it later or something. But I was thinking about just leaving those covers off because they are a pain in the butt to get off. Um, this guy here, this little bolt, he pinches the cover on. And he wasn't letting it come off, so I don't remember which one it's on. It's on the other one. I was taking it off. That happened. So let me know in the comments, guys, whether I should just leave those off or um, keep them on. I know they're supposed to be on there to protect that belt and pulleys and stuff, but I've seen a lot of other YouTube videos where people just leave them off. And it doesn't really bother me. I kind of like the looks of it with them off. Looks pretty cool. But let me know in the comments what you should, what you think I should do. I'm gonna get a discharge chute for this thing so I can try not to get my flower beds full of grass. I've got a couple lawns where I can't really help that because there's beds on both sides of the path. I have to take the mower. And uh, yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, John Deere Garage. I try to get 30 subscribers by spring. We just hit 21, so let's try to keep that going.